lot of grinding gears this time. Well, we'll try not to grind them, we'll just tickle them. Tickle the gears instead of grinding them. So we are in rush hour traffic, Bellingham, headed down to Seattle. We were going to do this at, you know, 1 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning. Well, guess what? It is 2 p.m. in the afternoon. If you guys followed our Instagram, you kind of have an idea what happened. Truck broke down at Customs. I just cleared Customs and I was in that parking lot where they do their inspections and I lost all brakes, or not brakes, all air. My air compressor quit on me. And now I've got this backup unit, it's a Kenworth manual transmission. I have not driven a manual transmission much in my lifetime. Uh, big rig anyway, double clutching. So it's definitely going to be a challenge. Rush hour, truck I'm not used to, manual transmission, late load, although the uh, customer is not picky at all what time the load gets there, so that's not a problem. We'll get there tonight. Hey, I actually got that shift. So we spent eight hours at customs. That's got to be some kind of new record. Eight hours. Longest time I've ever spent at customs. Eight hours. It's a little over eight hours. But you can do it. I don't want to shift again. You can do it. Seems to have not a lot of power going up.
start. Yeah, she does not have a lot of power. There's definitely some power issues with this engine. Any little hill, we definitely struggle. Should make the passes fun, especially once we hit snow. If I miss a gear in snow, we're in all sorts of kind of trouble.
customs, then we stop for an additional two hours. Okay, I didn't say that. So after eight hours of customs, I didn't drive for another two hours because if you wait 10 hours, it resets your uh, clock, your driving time. So I took a little nap, reset the clock, so we have full 11 hour drive time today. We were not going to need it, but at least that way we're not going to have to worry about running out of hours. If I didn't do the extra two hours, there's a chance we didn't couldn't make it today. And I'm like, nah, we'll just stick, sit there for an additional two hours, then I can drive a lot longer. E-logs are a little finicky that way sometimes, but hey, I don't mind them. I actually kind of enjoy the e-logs, it gets rid of all the paperwork. I've only had to do a month and a half of paper logs, so maybe I, I don't appreciate the paper logs as much as the veterans do.